Exodus chapter 4, verse 24. Amen. Media man, um, the screen was moving up and down, so please make sure it's rectified because it's been solved. Thank you. Um, give me NLT version. Amen. On the way to Egypt, at a place where Moses and his family had stopped for the night, the Lord confronted him and was about to kill him. The Lord was about to kill Moses. Tell somebody, uh, ask somebody this, que this question for me. Why do you want to kill me? Uh, 25, 25, 25. Shh, 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 shh. But Moses' wife, Zipporah, took a flint knife and circumcised a young boy. Then she touched Moses' feet with the foreskin. Mind you, blood was part. So now she said, now you are a bridegroom of blood to me. That's what the lady is saying to the husband. Now you are a man of blood. And let's see. When she said a bridegroom of blood, she was referring to the circumcision. After that, the Lord left Moses alone and couldn't kill him. Help me to speak to somebody and say, my neighbor, my neighbor. By, the blood, by the blood, you shall escape death. Shall escape death. Turn to the other neighbor and say, my neighbor, my neighbor. By, the blood, by the blood, your funeral is canceled. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. I want to preach in the next 15 minutes using as a subject. By the blood of escaped death. The blood of Jesus is powerful. The blood of Jesus is great. The blood of Jesus Christ is amazing. Anytime the blood of Jesus speaks in the life of a person, there is a change. But unfortunately... Many people don't know the benefits of the blood of Jesus. We go into the book of Exodus chapter 4. And before we go to Exodus, what's the meaning for the word Exodus? It comes from two words, X and others. X means past. Others means out. So Exodus simply means to pass out from a place. So the people of Israel have been in Egypt for so many years 430 years and in the books of in the book of exodus they have come out of where they used to be the same word by the name exodus also simply means exit when you are in a house or when you go into any office or when you drive through any filling station there is a sign that tells you exit Exit simply means when you are leaving, this is the place where you used to pass out of the place. I thank God that God is also a God of exit, which means if God is a God of exit, then I'm not trapped in my situation. When God is a God of exit, then I'm not kept in the thing I don't like. He will give me an exit way. Is there anybody here who believes that God is going to give them an exit door from a crisis, an exit door for a commotion, an exit door of anything that used to frustrate them? God is giving somebody an exit. Somebody shout an exit. Now, thousands of people are there and God says, I want to bring them out. But God didn't bring them out through the whole thousand people. He chose one man. The name of the man is called Moses. In the Hebrew, is translated as Moshe, which simply means to draw out. Because he was on a river, or river now, and they brought him out. Then Pharaoh's daughter said, I will give the name Moses, means I drew him out of the water. Little did she know that God was going to use Moses to draw the people of God out of captivity. When God wants to change a community, he doesn't look for all of them. He picks one person. There is somebody seated here. Out of your own family. The Lord says you are going to become that particular Moses. That he will use to bring everybody out. 
I said there is somebody here the Lord says you are going to become that one person he will use to bring many people but hear me anytime you are that Moses hear me life will not be easy for you if you are that Moses he will meet a lot of challenges if you are that Moses they will declare you as a wanted man if you are that Moses when they give birth to you you will not sleep in a baby court you will sleep on a basket on a river but because you carry that assignment to deliver people crocodiles cannot chew you on that river because when you go to Egypt right now and you check the river now the river now has crocodiles but the issue is why didn't Moses die in the mouth of the crocodiles why because he had a future in front of him there is somebody here there's a great future in front of you and the Lord says because of that future you will not die before your time the one who shot the loudest amen the Lord says because of that future you will not die before your time so right now Moses is a wanted man he has run away to a land that is called Midian and when he got there he became a shepherd but when he was in Egypt he was a prince his father or his foster father or the stepfather um, or adopted father is Pharaoh and so Moses was being trained to become a young Pharaoh to come and a Pharaoh is a deity a Pharaoh is a strong man a Pharaoh is someone who knows a lot of knowledge about medicine about astrology Pharaoh was just another God so that's how Moses was being trained he lived in a palace and mind you the whole world the greatest nation at that time was Egypt but a day came he left that particular place because he saw two people fighting and he went in there and stopped the fighting but while stopping the fighting he killed the enemy and protected his own but after he protected his own the story went outside and one day two another battle was going on so when Moses got there Moses said don't don't fight stop fighting then the guy who is Moses own family member an Israelite said you want to kill me the last like the last time you killed the other person you are a killer but yesterday I was the one that helped you today you are blaming me in that time you are the Moses of your family the same people you are supposed to feed they are the ones that will bite your fingers the same people you are supposed to protect they are the same ones that will try to bring your life down and the Bible says he has run away to Midian and now Moses the prince has become the Moses the fugitive what do you do when your life was up here one day and the next time is down there but I came to give you good news there is a God we are serving no matter where you find yourself he has the ability to cause your life to bounce back and this particular evening I came to declare by the grace of bounce back that whoever has fallen from their grace the Lord says he's about to cause you to bounce back to your place of destiny somebody shout I'm bouncing back oh I come to say I'm bouncing back shout it for the last time say I'm bouncing back now right now right now Moses in Midian the Spirit of the Lord has spoken to him and says Moses where you are standing is just a holy ground so take off your shoes now the reason why the shoes have been taken is not because when the time you go to the house of God take off your shoe like some people want to do but it simply means that things you brought from your past it can follow you into your future because it's the shoe you wore when you were in Egypt but now that you have had an encounter with God your future is going to be great any old shoe you used to wear today in the name of Jesus is coming off your feet any pain of the past in the crisis of the past the Lord says is leaving you right now in the name of Jesus whatever gave you sleepless nights so many months ago so many years ago today in the name of Jesus it will never follow you again whatever fought your father fought your mother fought ever whoever ever was connected to you from today it will never follow you again now he told him to leave it up and say God was it God said I want to use you to go and bring the people out I believe Moses will tell God, God, have you forgotten I'm a wanted man? When you go to the lorry station in Egypt, when you get to the airport, my big photo is there. That says, wanted alive or dead. And God, why do you want to take me to the place where they want to kill me? Let me give you the good news. The same place where they wanted to kill you will be the same place of your elevation. 
the same place of your downfall, the same place of your demise. Listen, the same place they designed for your disgrace. That will be the same place they will honor you in the name of Jesus. That will be the same place God is going. Hey, the same place they gossip about you will be the same place they are going to clap your hands and applaud you for all the good things God has done in your life. For all the favors. Listen to me. The same hospital they said you have that illness will be the same hospital the doctor will say that you have been all cleared by the power of God. Somebody shout the same place. So God told him to go to the same place. Now, he's getting ready to move, but he goes, asked God one question. God, when I go, Pharaoh will ask me, who sent me? In other words, what is my name? Or what is the name of God? And God said to Moses, Moses, I'm so big for one name. If you define me by one name, you keep me in one box. So I don't have one name. My name is the statement. Moses said, God, tell me your name. And God said, my name is called I am that I am. Prophet Daniel, what's the meaning for I am that I am? God says, I can be whatever you want me to be. So for when, when your sister is sick, I am the doctor. When your sister has a court case, I am the lawyer. When your sister has favor problem, I am your favor. When you're looking for husband, I am your husband. When you're looking for the grace of God, I am your grace. Is there anybody that God says, I am that I am. Whatever you want me to be, I can be who you want me to be. Don't put God in one box. God's name is a statement, I am that I am. So when any power wants to chase after you, God says, I am your protection. God says, I will keep you. God says, I will preserve you. Then God said to me, when you go to Pharaoh, just tell Pharaoh, God said, let my people go. Now let me just do a fast forward. Now they are ready to leave. They are getting ready to move. And what's getting ready to move now? Well, before they get ready to move, um, God started saying some strange thing to Moses, something, something very strange and say, God, um, I, I, I just want you to show me some signs. And God said to him, what do you have in your hands? And Moses said, God, what I have in my hands is a rod, a stick. Someone say a stick. Man of God, give me a stick right now for an illustration. Give me a stick. Say, somebody say a stick. Um, I want to ask you one question. What do you have in your hands? Anytime God wants to do something in your life, he doesn't need anything from outside. He needs what you already have in your hands. We always concentrate our time and our energy on so many things we don't have. But hear me, there is something you have. God has put something in your life. We keep on comparing our lives, comparing ourselves to other people. But you don't know what you carry. If you knew what you carry, most of the people you are jealous of, you'd have been jealous of them. Ah, what do you have in your hands? What do you have in your hands? And he said, I have a stick. And God said to him, drop your stick. The moment he dropped the stick, the Bible says, and the stick, hear me, became a snake. Now, when the stick became a snake, this is how it becomes very dangerous. God said to him, pick it by the tail. God is very wicked. Because those of you here who know about snakes, anytime a snake charmer is working on snakes, they don't pick it by the tail, they pick it by the head. Am I saying the truth? Because if you try to pick it by the tail, it will crawl on your hands and bite you. So God, I told you, tell Moses, pick it by the head. And God said, pick it by the tail. Prophet Daniel, what's the revelation? I'm glad you asked me. Can I tell you? Hear me, before you understand what is a snake, a snake first showed up in the book of Genesis that represents the devil. And the Lord said, this snake you're about to pick, you're about to pick it from the tail. What is the tail? The head of every ten is the beginning. The tail of every ten is the end. And the Lord says, that devil that has tormented you for a long time, you are about to see the end of that trouble. You are about to see the end of that crisis. Anybody here that believes that God says, you are about to see the end of your pain, the end of your crisis, the end of your shame, the end of your agony, whatever fought you from last year, the Lord says, if by the count of three, you are about to see the end of it, in the sickness in your body, in the sickness in your blood, whatever is going on in your house, the Lord says, by the count of three you are about to see the end of that shame you are about to see the end of that 
work on him the lord said those people that has fought you for so many years the lord said you shall see them no more you are about to see their end i want to declare right now anybody that was waiting for your death the lord said you see their end by power you see their end one two three so end so um he says pick it by the tail and when he picked it by the tail it became a snake it became a stick again it was a stick it became a snake and it became a stick again can i declare any good life you have enjoyed before that left you the lord says it's coming back again oh oh oh, oh. the one who saw the loudest amen the Lord says you will be the first person to receive the greatness of God around your life. Now hear me. So they've made the journey. And I'm in my test now and I'll finish in 30 minutes time. They are busy on their way. They are going and God shows up. And God said, Moses, I will kill you. But God, you just called me. God, you just spoke to me. God, you just gave me a great word that I have a future. And now you want to kill me why for god has already given an assignment to them that everybody is supposed to circumcise every male around them but moses forgot to circumcise the son so when they were moving the lord said i've not seen circumcision and circumcision at that time simply means blood has to come out so whilst they were making the journey they made the journey without blood and god said i want to see blood around and because there was no blood the Bible says God wants to kill Moses. And the Bible says the wife showed up. And the Bible says the wife took a knife. When the wife took a knife, one of God come for illustration for me, please. One minute. Thank you. The wife took a knife. Just lie down small for me. You are getting blessings from the altar. When the wife li lie down at your back, thank you, man of God. When the wife took the knife, he cut off the foreskin. And the Bible said, blood came. Okay now when blood came come you are the moses come now the bible says when blood came now this is moses son and this is moses but when blood came the bible says and the woman used the blood on the feet of moses and the lord said i will not kill you again so moses is going to die but when blood from an innocent boy left the innocent boy to come to moses moses didn't die most of us we are like moses but there was a blood from an innocent man by the name of jesus that came oh my can feel somebody some of us would have died by now but an innocent boy died the name of the boy is jesus jesus the son of god he on a friday in the afternoon you and i were supposed to die but when his blood came on us you and i god exempted us this evening i came to declare there's an innocent blood speaking for you and it's not the blood of any other guy that the name of jesus at the mention of that name every knee will bow at the mention of that name every mouth will confess that jesus is lord when that innocent blood is speaking for you it doesn't matter your past they can use your past against you but when they use it against you tell them an innocent blood is speaking for me a young boy was killed at the age of 33 years he died for me so the son of god became the son of man so that the sons of men could become the sons of god when i was nobody innocent boy died for me so somebody hear me don't let anybody use your past against you because they didn't die for you they might know you yesterday but when the blood of the innocent boy shows up in your life it changes everything around so whatever was supposed to kill moses the blood from the innocent boy delivered him and somebody hear me whatever you see in the old testament is a reflection of jesus so you go to the book of hebrews 
chapter 10, verse 12, 1, and I'm done in one minute. He says, whatever happened, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1, it says, the old system, hear me, under the law of Moses was only a shadow, a dim preview of the good things to come. So whatever happened with Moses was a reflection of the preview that was just to come. I want to end here by declaring to somebody. People think you have seen your greatest breakthrough yet. No, you've not seen it yet. All the things they see you with that breakthrough is just a sneak preview of what is here to come. So hear me? So if somebody is jealous of you today, Tell them you are jealous of me on my preview. When the main show shows up. Okay, have you ever watched a movie before? Before the movie, or when they're about to do the premiere, or the adverts, just a 30 second promo comes. And you look at it and say, wow, it will be nice. This one is the bone. It will be so nice. It will be so great. And that one is only a sneak preview of the main movie. So where you are now is only a sneak preview. So if somebody is jealous of you today, they are jealous of the preview, let them wait for the main show. But because of the blood of the sun, the main show, 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 the main show is showing up for somebody's life. Be on your feet, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. Lift up your hands. We are about to lift up three prayers. The blood cancelled Moses death lift up your hands we are about to pray that whatever is supposed to happen to you may God look at the blood of the innocent boy the innocent boy is the boy of God Jesus that is Jesus see Jesus Jesus I thank you I thank you for dying for me for dying for me with your blood with your blood right now right now by your spirit by your spirit any death any death any pain any, any pain, pain that is in front of me that is in front of me in front of my family in front of my family that has to come to us that has to come to us by virtue by, by virtue, virtue of the blood of jesus of the blood of jesus we escape it we escape it any pain any, any pain, pain any bad any bad, bad news ahead of us ahead of us the next day the next day the next week the next week the next month the next month the next year the next year by the blood by the blood we reverse it we reverse it as we clap as we clap as we pray somebody let the blood reverse every pain last time now this is your second prayer hear me because 
Moses didn't die, he was able to accomplish his purpose. This was second prayer. Whatever has to happen in your life, any greatness, any success, any blessing that has to visit you by the reason of the blood of the innocent boy, may you accomplish your purpose. Any testimony that belongs to you by the reason of set by fire, let the blood of Jesus grant me my testimony. Whatever my testimony is located, as I clap and pray, somebody receive your greatest testimony right now by fire. The greatest testimony, your testimony, your greatness, your elevation, receive it now by God's grace, by power. Receive your greatness by the Spirit of God. Now it belongs to you. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. And nothing can block you. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood. Somebody pray. Let the blood. Let the blood. receive long life the one who shot the loudest amen he will be the first person to receive that testimony I said the blood will cause you to receive long life somebody hear me what God God has said about your life will surely come to pass say I receive it by grace listen any evil dream you have had Jesus. that has been haunting you Jesus. by the power of god i divert it in jesus name Amen. any satanic dream that has been haunting you Jesus. by the message of god i divert it in jesus name Amen. whatever has touched your life i declare by fire may god remember you on every area every side of your destiny somebody shout jesus, jesus. lift up your hands lift up your hands uh, media, I sent you a picture of the police officer. Did you guys get, get it? Did you guys get it? Uh, check something right now. You know, this guy was killed. Look at it right now. Do you have it? No, no. The other one. The other one. The other one. Thank you. Do you all remember the William Van Robbery, right? Um, so, um, those of you that hear news know that um, the young man that was killed in cold blood, um, the whole happens his fellow police officers were behind it. Okay, so um, the issue is that when the young man passed, um, one of his friends from his own station by the name of Randolph Jima, he was the first person to post it and said, you still day my heart, you still day in my heart forever. Jar guard your soul, RIP or say, not knowing he is the one who killed his own friend. So now the other picture is here. Now he, he's the guy, and today to the Allen, this guy too was killed. So Constable Randolph Jima was one of the mastermind behind the William Van robbery, which led to the death of his fellow officer. He was arrested by the police and was shot dead when he led the police to the robbery scene and everything. He killed his own friend, but he was the first person that came on social media to say RIP. Power of worship, can I pause here to declare? 
whoever is waiting for you to die Jesus. so that they become the first ones to post R.I.P. on you Jesus. by the blood of Jesus, Jesus. I refuse I said by the blood of Jesus, I reverse it from your life in the name of Jesus. Listen, whoever, say me, whoever has kept one of your nicest pictures waiting to post on the day they hear about your death, let the power of God reverse it. Change it right now by fire. Son, I change it now by the blood of Jesus. Now, protocol, uh, can man, somebody help me? Man of God, yeah. Help me, yeah, TV. Just your know, uh, Give me the blood. Give me the blood of Jesus now. Um, lift up your right hand. Yeah, pour it in the glass for me. He says, and um, he lifted up the wine, and he said, "Behold, this is my blood." He just lifted up the wine, and he said, twenty-six verse twenty-seven, Matthew. He lifted up. He said, "The fruit of the vine becomes the blood." Today, in the name of Jesus, as I lift this blood, Jesus, I said today, as I lift this blood, Jesus, any condition in your life, I speak on your business. Yes, Lord. I, 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 I speak on your transactions. Yes, Lord. I, I, I speak on your health. I speak on your children. Jesus. Yes, Lord. I speak on your relationship. Jesus. I speak on your marriage. Jesus. By the reason of the grace of God, in the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus speak for somebody. So we shout the blood. The blood. Now, yeah, man, this is your last prayer. Now, whatever is due you is coming to you by force. Amen. Last, the other Sunday, I called out a young guy over here. And I said to the young man, God is going to give you an elevation. I see a contract that has been signed for you. Some man of God, I've been working on a contract for so many months. And anytime I take it, they say, my coat is so high. So I've got to bring it down. I said to him, when you go home, just look for coconut water. Drink it. When you finish, just do something to touch your face. Something will happen. The prophecy was given to him on, on, on a Sunday. Where is he? On a Sunday. So um, uh, he said, I will do it even before Monday. When he did the direction, he said, they called him and said, your coat you always bring. We want to ask you one thing. If you can do us one favor. I said, no problem. What is it? He said, we want you to increase the coat. The coat he brings, they say, is low. Is they say that it's too high, so she bring it down. Say, Can you increase it by sixty thousand and come for us to sign the contract? Just after the direction, everything has been signed. You hear me? Don't, don't clap yet. Don't clap yet. Don't clap yet. What triggered them for them to now give it to him? Because a prophetic word was hanging on his life. That's right. This evening, I declare, Jesus, everybody here, you are a product of a word. That's right. You hear me? Not just because the man of God did prophesy to you does not mean that you don't have a word on you. There's a word on you. The Lord, the, 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 the word says, you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be the first and not the last. By the power of God, in the word on you, I came to activate the word. I came to activate that word. So I receive it. I receive it. A young man is here. He works for Cocoa Ball. I, I, I got to him one day, I said, young man, go for your promotion letter. He said, prophet, I've been waiting, it's not coming. I said, I said, I said, I didn't say go and look for it, I said, go for it. He said, prophet, and now they are supposed to call me before I go for it. I said, Isaac, go for your letter, it's there. He said, but no, God, they've not called me, I can't go. I said, go to the HR. He's stationed on the way at Sevi, right? right? So I told the guy, come to Accra, go to HR, tell them you come for your letter. He took the bow step. That's Isaac Money. He took the bow step. Went there. Said, what are you looking for? He said, I came for my promotion letter. They said, did you receive a phone call? He said, no. He said, then why are you here? He said, I, I know my promotion letter is there. He said, wait, uh, give us your code number. Give us your name. Let's check it. They checked the whole thing. The letter has been there for, let hear me, one year. <laughs> now, the strange thing is that the one, um, the one who sat on the thing carried his same name. Isaac Ousumoni, the same thing. He's been there for one year, not until he was directed by the prophet. To lift up your hands. This is your last prayer. Jesus. Let the grace that works in this commission. Jesus. Oh, I can't. I said, let the grace that works in this commission. Jesus. Listen, if the young girl whose fallopian tube was cut off can now have a baby, ah, 
I said the fallopian to put, put a video there, the fallopian tube was cut off. And the other ovary had a cyst. And doctors told, told her, look for money and come for IVF. She came to the testimony city. The answer was that go and look for apple. Apple against IVF money. Let, yeah, just, just, just for a second, let's go, a second, let's go. And she's pregnant. So I asked her, because I remember a lady came to me and they said you can't have a baby, right? Because something, what, what was it? What, what was I had an ectopic. She had an ectopic and they cut. They removed the fallopian tube. See, they removed the fallopian tube and they said you can never have a baby. Yes, and I have ovarian cysts. And she also has ovarian cysts. At both sides. At both sides. And right now what has happened? I'm pregnant. My God. Oh. So, so she's giving birth already. Pull it front, let's see the baby. Pull it front. So the last 10 seconds, let's go. Pull it from the same video, pull it from, pull it straight from, you know. Last 10 seconds. Yeah, pull it. Yeah. He said, Good morning, Papa. I'm the lady who had one of fallopian tubes removed. I had a very on both sides. The doctor said, No, be possible for me to conceive naturally to buy only to have your. But the author of the testimony still came through for me, and by the grace of God, I've put to death what God cannot do, cannot exist. Now let's see the baby. So from that time, the baby is there. Let's go to the same place. Continue. Is there? Yeah. This is your last video. Left up your right hand. Listen, if you came here as a spectator, take your Bible, take your book, take your key, take your boyfriend, take your girlfriend, and leave. We are here. We mean business. Because we want God to speak on our behalf. Because sometimes, if God doesn't speak, listen, if in the, if in the IVF, it was going to be 50 50. Have you two met people who have done IVF 50 times and didn't work? I've spent money, it didn't work. It takes the grace of God. Lift up your hands. This is your last prayer. Say, Oh God of the testimony city. Oh God of the testimony city. Say, Oh God of the testimony city. Oh God of the testimony city. Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah. This is my time. This is my time. By your blood. By your blood. Whatever is mine. Whatever is mine. I receive it. I receive it. Oh God. Oh God. What? Whatever is difficult, whatever is difficult, I make it easy. I make it easy. Any obstacle, any obstacle around me, around me, pray. Any obstacle, any obstacle around me, around me, pray. By fire, by fire, my time has come. My time has come now. So fire. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Some people think if they are not there, you cannot survive. Okay, okay, okay. Some people think if they are not there, you cannot make it. You are about to shock them. Around, hear me, around, around, around September, October, November there, Sister Alima came to me. Said, Prophet, I've been dating this guy for some time then. The guy said he's buying her a car. And um, the guy sent a picture to her and said, I bought you a car. Then she told the guy, so... Where's the car? The guy said, I'm studying you before I give to you. Then the guy now told her again, um, if in the car no crown, I'm going to give to my prophet. So he's putting on the car. One month, two months, three months. Proud to that they're having a lot of issues. But the issue was not even connected to the car, other issues. So you came to him and said, Prophet Daniel, I'm very tired. I've been in this relationship for a long time, but it's not about the car. But every day, this, every day, this. I said to a little to me, my assignment is not to break relationship. My assignment is for God to remember you. I prayed for her, gave her direction. I told her to go and look for a ring and give it to me. I did a direction for her. And after some time, she came to the prophet. I've already made a decision. What is the decision? You go going for him. So, no. Um, I want to move forward. So, are you sure? So, I want to move forward. Are you sure? So, I want to move forward. I want to move on. That's the right word. So, she, she, she moved on. And she came to see me again. So, what's up, sir? I've met somebody. I said, I, said, I said, how is it going? He said, Prophet, this one is very good. Good, very good. I said, how far? I said, Three days ago, he said, Prophet, the new one just bought me a car without even telling me. I know why you are not clapping. She's here. You can go and ask her. So what somebody bought and covered it? Somebody bought and gave to her. Hey, those who stop, if you are not there, you cannot make it. By, uh, by the grace from this altar. I bless it on you. I bless it on you. Receive grace. Receive grace. Say hey. Say hey. Say my neighbor. 
if they believe, if they believe you cannot make it, you cannot make it. Make it. They, should wait for you. they should wait for you God will surprise them, God will surprise them. is there anybody here who knows that God yeah, yeah, is yeah, about yeah, to yeah, 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 surprise yeah, 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 yeah. them let God arise God. and speak on your behalf shall I receive it I receive it shut your hands on the altar shut your hands, did you bring the car today? You brought it. You brought it. Search your hands. Look in the face of someone. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. If you not give it to me. If you not give it to me. I'll get a better one. I'll, I'll get, get a better, better one. one. Come on now. Search your hands on the altar. Search your hands on the altar. What I hate in my life is somebody using money to bluff somebody. As I said, so he gave. He said, Prophet, every day he showed me the case. Say, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I said, oh, to us, and when you have stretch your hands. Let that oil you in the testimony city. My God. I said, let that oil you in the testimony city. Jesus. And let the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Now I infuse to you long life. Yes. I infuse to you long life. Amen. Some shout long life. Long life. It's my portion. It's my portion. Say long life. Long life. Belongs to me. Belongs to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say I will never fall down. I will never fall down. Sit down. It says, and he picked the snake by the tail. That's right. Today I cause you to see the tail of the pain. Amen. I cause you to see the tail of the disaster. Amen. I cause you to see the tail of the crisis. Amen. Say, I will see the tail. I, I will see the tail. By the strength of God. By the, the strength, strength of God. God. Begin to wave your hands. Begin to wave your hands. Power of Worship International, the Testimony City and the Testimony City Power of Worship International. I believe every day you come on our brokers and become a blessing because the brokers blesses you. Now this is our time of giving. Your giving changes your life and changes your destiny. For God so loved the world that he gave. The first one to give was God. How much more you and I. I want to personally advise you and urge you. Every giving information you need is on the screen now. Go and give. And after you give, just type on the screen. Testimony, I have given. Testimony, I have given. Or you can type on the screen. I receive my testimony. The platforms are there. It will be a blessing to you. Jesus will change your destiny. A young boy, he gave his lunch of bread that were five and the fish were two. Guess what happened? It multiplied. If the boy had not given, that miracle had not happened. What you are looking for needs to come from giving. May God bless you even as you give in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. May your job be blessed. Your business be blessed. Those who owe you will pay. If you owe, it will be paid for in Jesus' name. God will multiply you. And I declare, nobody will use money against you. No evil money will be paid on an evil altar to disturb your life. In Jesus' name. I want to personally let you know. Thank you very much for giving. Give. Nothing is too small for God. Give. After you give, type on the screen. I receive my testimony. I receive my testimony. Thank you very much for giving. May God honor you. May God bless you. May God multiply you for your giving in Jesus' name. You have given and God will surprise you. Thank you very much for giving. I love you. Thank you for giving. Thank you. Power of Worship International, the Testimony City and the Testimony City Power of Worship International. I believe every day you come on our brokers and become a blessing because the brokers blesses you. Now this is our time of giving. Your giving changes your life and changes your destiny. For God so loved the world that he gave. The first one to give was God. How much more you and I. I want to personally advise you and urge you. Every giving information you need is on the screen now. Go and give. And after you give, just type on the screen. Testimony, I have given. Testimony, I have given. Or you can type on the screen. I receive my testimony. The platforms are there. It will be a blessing to you. Jesus will change your destiny. A young boy, he gave his lunch of bread that were five and the fish were two. Guess what happened? It multiplied. If the boy had not given, that miracle had not happened. What you are looking for needs to come from giving. 
May God bless you even as you give in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. May your job be blessed, your business be blessed. Those who owe you will pay. If you owe, it will be paid for in Jesus' name. God will multiply you. And I declare, nobody will use money against you. No evil money will be paid on an evil altar to disturb your life in Jesus' name. I want to personally let you know. Thank you very much for giving. Give. Nothing is too small for God. Give. After you give, type on the screen. I receive my testimony. I receive my testimony. Thank you very much for giving. May God honor you. May God bless you. May God multiply you for your giving in Jesus' name. You have given and God will surprise you. Thank you very much for giving. I love you. Thank you for giving. Thank you.